May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. February 12th, 2023, Sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water, to whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil, whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's every deed. No one does he command to act unjustly. To none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept, oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the to your servant that I may live and keep your words. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Instruct me, O Lord, in the ways of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law, and keep it with all my heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages for our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, What eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, You will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Do you genuinely believe in the gospel of our Lord, and are you prepared to grow in your faith to a truly radical level, and allow God to change every aspect of your life? Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5 verses 20 to 22 The scribes and Pharisees were masters of the old law. Now that the Messiah had arrived, they were unwilling to go deeper and move beyond the Old Testament teachings that they often misrepresented. They preferred a black and white approach to morality that had been with them for centuries and did not want to change when presented with Jesus' new and higher calling. 
Today's Gospel continues Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, which began with the Beatitudes. In today's portion of Jesus' Sermon, we are taught about anger, adultery, and oaths. In every case, Jesus refers to the law as it was taught in the Old Testament, but then elevates it to an entirely new level. The line quoted above makes it clear that the only way to accept these new teachings of Jesus was to surpass the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. And the dire result of not surpassing their righteousness was the loss of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus begins by recalling the Old Testament commandment, you shall not kill. But then he takes that commandment further by saying that, whoever is angry with his brother, will be liable to judgment. Of course, killing remains a grave sin. But now, Jesus explains that the interior attitude of anger, even if not acted upon, is a sin. He goes on to teach a similar lesson about adultery and swearing oaths. It is helpful to understand these new teachings in the context of the approach that the scribes and Pharisees took in regard to the Old Testament. About that, Jesus says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Thus, the primary problem with the scribes and Pharisees is not that they failed to teach the Old Testament law properly. The primary problem is that, now that the Messiah has arrived, and has ushered in a new time of fulfillment and righteousness, they would not go deeper, and would not embrace the fulfillment of the law of God. They are not willing to grow in holiness, and embrace the fulfillment of all that had been taught before. Reflect today, upon the calling given to you by our Lord's new and glorious teachings. If you are to truly embrace the gospel of our Lord, and live in his new law of grace, then you must be willing to go deep, become truly radical in your faith, and allow God to transform every part of your life. The new law is one of the fullness of love, mercy, surrender, zeal, conversion, and transformation. Commit yourself to surpassing the old and limited righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, and God will do glorious things in your life. Let us pray. Lord of all grace, you came and not only taught us about the heights of holiness, but you also lived it, and have bestowed upon us all we need to imitate your every virtue. Please fill me with your mercy and strength, so that I may live a new righteousness of the fullness of love. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.